This card is the Forbidden Fruit of Gods Unchained. Peculiar Spellworm. I've noticed this card so many times, and I've thought to myself, one day I will meme with this card. Yesterday it finally happened, and I'm really excited to show you how it went terribly wrong. But first, let's read the card. It's a one mana uh, creature. It's a dragon type. Two attack, six health. And that's insane. Two six for one? What? So why is this not played in every single deck? Well, the roar. Your opponent randomly pulls a spell from their deck. Reduce the cost of the spell to one. So the problem is, some amount of the time, when you play Spellworm, you're going to give your opponent an incredibly strong late game spell for one. In the match I'm about to show you, I give my opponent a 7 cost spell for 1, which they immediately play. It's literally the worst scenario possible. I'll just spoil it. It's Zealous March. My opponent is able to fill the board with protected acolytes immediately, and I'm just like, what the hell? So I wanted to show you this match, not only because it's just entertaining to see my reaction when things go terribly wrong, but also because the match after they played Zealous March was actually very, very cool. It was kind of like hard mode, like playing a game on the highest difficulty. I had to use every single ounce of skill that I have to try to overcome them. It was very close. Did I win? Did I lose? I'll leave that for you to watch and find out, but I think you'll enjoy this. So check out this highlight match. This was a fun one. I haven't even put the game on the screen. Sorry, I mulliganed without the screen. You guys better yell at me. Like, if all 30 plus of you let me leave the screen on while I played a game, I'll be salty. That was my fault, though. You didn't have a chance to know yet, but. I wasn't saying anything, but if it is one of those things where the game is not on the screen and no one tells me for an extended time, it will be salty. Don't do that to me. This might actually have seven win energy. This might actually have it. Fuck! No! Spellworm gave them Zealous March! No! I was just saying it hasn't backfired yet. Oh, no! Can I recover with Appeal to Mercy? Is there any chance? No! It's the first time it's backfired. Oh, no! No, 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 no! I need to go wide. I need to go wide. It still has seven win energy. It still has seven win energy. See? 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 We're taking off protected. Everything loses protected. See? It's fine. I'm going to win this game, dude. No one is wrecked. You're the one who's wrecked. Your bags went to zero. I moved out of my mom's house. You're wrecked. I'm a Chad. All right. Don't give me that shit. I'm gonna win this. Urgh. I'm mad. Don't tell me about getting wrecked. Getting wrecked. Oh, jeez. Mom's basement energy? Oh, it used to be. Oh, shit. How do you have Nithos? Okay, this one was not meant to be. We actually had a chance there, and now we don't. Hmm. No, I just think it's funny, because, like, there's a lot of people who started with millions of dollars, and they've lost money over the last two years. And I started in my mom's basement, and I'm doing a lot better after the last couple of years. But I always think it's funny when people are like... I don't know. Wow, Flux... What do you know? It's like, I know more than you, bitch. <laughs> I love the mom's basement backstory. I love having more actual knowledge about the space than people with 10 times to 100 times as much money as me. It's pretty fun. It's like... Pretty fun. I'm cool with it. Hey, they're not really pushing for a full fast win here. They're not just going face or anything. Maybe we make the comeback. We kill the spider. Get a heal for three. Tip out Helios Battlesworn. Helios. Camaraderie? Really? 
Really? Okay, so kill the spider, pip out Helios. And then next turn, they have seven damage to face, and I can kill these two. We're still probably dead. Considering they played Zealous March on turn two, this could be worse, you know? If they just hadn't had Nithos, if I had been able to pull Protect off of everything, it would have been really sick. It would have been really sick. If we had been able to use that Lupine Fanatic to get Protect off of everything, I could have actually, like, handled it, you know? I could have actually handled it. I swear. Yeah. Okay. Wrong path, the 3 3. Oh, shit. I can't play it for two more turns. Fuck me. The 3 3 can't attack. Oh, wrong path, the 3 3. I can't play this for two more turns. It's so sad. I have to kill the other ones. Nah, I think we're dead. We're dead. God, I want to save it so bad. Just to like, see like, see it's fine. No problem. I want to come back so bad. I don't think it's happening though. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. We'll see. See what this turn looks like. I'm still feeling seven win energy. Still, still feeling it. No, wait. Oh, they just took protection off of their acolytes. They messed up. They just took protect off. They made a mistake. And they can't attack now. They blundered. They definitely are not familiar with that card. And they healed my creatures. Wow. 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 That was like the biggest blunder they could have ever made. Oh my god. Forget diamond. That is a... I don't know what the card does play. And I understand that card's a little complicated. Paid actor. Yeah, that's what they all say. If I actually had paid actors, my win rate would be so fucking high. You clowns would never keep up with me. Oh my god, it's crazy. What a blunder for them. Um I mean I love this. This is wild, right? That's Amazon. Okay, I have no wilds right now. Gotta be primal guidance. I can actually clear that if I want. Instead of playing the asylum. Okay. This is super nice as well. We might actually win from here. We might actually win from here. That was really lucky that you shines in us all. They were super not aware of what that was going to do. They just didn't really understand. They didn't really understand what that was going to do. Ooh. Um, I guess just hollowing light, trade in the 3-1. Then play Gly Glider Assailant. Kind of awkward curve, but... The only way to stay ahead on the board, otherwise this gets super weird. Or otherwise I have to trade them both in. I could trade these both in and just play Master or Surprises. I don't like that very much. I could though. And get a better situation for an Elite. It's a 5-1. I'm not sure, I'm not sure about this, but I'm gonna try it this way. I'm not really sure how I feel about this. Yeah, not sure. Not 100% sure. Keyway incantation, are they drawing four? Yeah, okay, they're just reloading because their hand is not doing it. Wow, the tempo swings to my favor. This is amazing, but we probably got to save it so I can use it for full effect. Um, the tempo swings completely to my side. I don't know. Should I just play Orcish Elite? I could Thievery. But then all I get to do is play Glider plus whatever I got. Probably go Tempo. I have so many good cards here. 
It's nice to leave this as a surprise, but it is what it is, you know? I think we got to get the tempo there. Okay, that's fine. All right. I can just... I can almost kill it with this uh, Master of Surprises. That one armor gets in the way. Rapture Dance clears their board if I then attack this afterwards and just hit him in the face for three. I could legit Rapture Dance here. No, I should just use Hollowing Light. It's fine. Hollowing Light. Kill this. I guess I can just play the Inquisitor without... Nah, I should play Highborn Knight. Go face. Work on killing him. What a potential comeback. We gotta keep it going. What a potential comeback. That's one of the things about sealed mode that, like, really experienced players underestimate is the level of mind flood that most people experience. Like, the amount of different cards you're not familiar with is really hard to keep up with. I feel like over the last week or two, I'm starting to get a lot less mind flooded. But there was a while where I just felt confused after every game that I played. I just like was playing and I was so confused I couldn't keep up with all the cards. What's this? Sphinx Cat summoned two broken warriors and they're all Anubians? No, these aren't Anubians. That's a weird one. Never seen that before. Sphinx Cat. It's a neutral? What a weird one. All right, freebie. Looks like we might we might be about to win. Do they have any more answers? They can still create. Look for something. Holy shit. You got to admit, yes, they messed up, but that's still pretty cool that I won that. Don't give up until it's over. In sealed mode, you have to be really open to the possibility of your opponent making mistakes, I think. Like, the level of play is going to be a lot less optimal since it's such novel situations compared to in Constructed, where it's like, okay, they're probably not going to blow it. G fucking G. G fucking G, dude. Let's goddamn go. G fucking G. Oh, man. What a win, dude. What a win.